what's up guys it's paulina and today i'm coming at you guys with something that i didn't tell you guys you know what i'm in mexico right now and two days from now i'm gonna have basically a new nose it's when my appointment is i am getting a nose drop so this is my nose what's up guys it's me from the future and before the video actually starts i want to give a notification shout out i'm covering my nose because i don't want to ruin it for you guys yet i want you guys to see it like when the doctor takes my cast off which i did record but real quick notification shout out goes to natalia space neri 05 if i didn't say it wrong then i'm so sorry girl but thank you i really do love you and appreciate you and if you guys want a shout out just be subscribed how on your notifications, like this video, and then drop a comment below, and you will have a good chance to get one. And yeah, now let's get into the video. 16 years old, but I'm paying you my money. I have wanted to do this for several years now. Even at this young age, I have been wanting to do this. So yeah, right now I am my appointment. We'll be back. Talk to you guys later. I look crazy because I'm going to bed. But basically, tomorrow is my surgery. Um, At my appointment, the doctor talked to me about my nose, um, what we're doing to it, and I'll tell you guys. Basically, I'm going to bring this down. I have, like, unblended shape gonna bring this up like kind of like that get rid of the bump then it's a little bit uh like crooked i guess I'm gonna fix that define the tip a little bit basically that's what they're going to be doing okay guys so i am on my way to the hospital right now 7 38 in the morning um, they're gonna like get everything set up and stuff and then get me in at 8 and my surgery starts at 9 and I'm really excited to say goodbye to my nose. I said goodbye to it already. <laughs> See you guys later. Okay, guys. So they put in my I forgot what it's called suero. <laughs> and right now my grandma is practicing filming for me, but my surgery is soon. It's in less than an hour, and I'm really excited. But I will talk to you guys afterwards. I told them to record me afterwards. I'm probably going to be drowsy and stuff. Hola, <laughs> Pao. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Qué le trajeron? ¿Su comida? Ah, que ahí le voy a dar a mi reina. Yo también por esta preguntamos, ¿eh? Muchas gracias. Pues es que no he comido desde ayer. Hi guys, so um I'm finally in the room that I was in before and yeah my throat hurts and my nose kinda and my nose has been bleeding. Um, it's been bleeding, but now I'm gonna finally eat. It's like 2 30, what's well, past 2 30. And then I'm gonna eat. Hey guys, so it's the next day, and let me tell you guys, let me give you an update <coughs> on everything, how I'm feeling, and everything. So, yesterday I was super, super nauseous, and it, it was horrible. Um, luckily I slept through it this morning. I woke up and I wasn't nauseous anymore, but my head was hurting My nose was starting to hurt because the antibiotics were like starting to wear off. So, you know, I Had to take some more and everything 
ew. My nose is like... It just keeps bleeding. Not bad anymore. It's getting a little bit lighter every time. <sighs> Woke up a little more swollen. I've been sleeping though, so it's getting a little better. But let me show you guys something I'm going to try right now on camera. have two frozen spoons. I put them in there in the freezer uh, like three hours ago. So... And if you guys are like me, this isn't the first time doing this. If you've ever cried and wanted to get rid of it quickly, then you probably have tried this before. This kind of hurts. But I think it definitely works. Hopefully it works for me right now. I got pretty lucky I'm not bruising bad like at all. Like the most bruised I have my skin's a little bit like puffy but not bad and yeah sorry that a lot of this video is gonna be me looking into the viewfinder because you know it's how it is when you get surgery I guess something that does suck I can breathe through my nose like I can but um I got like <laughs> boogers and blood all in it so it's kind of hard and I still feel like I feel super tired for some reason like I woke up like at 9 today in the past like oh, few hours I've been um sleeping and then I'll be asleep and then I'll wake up a little but then I'll go right back to sleep or like my sleep will be like super like I'll be in a super light sleep where like anyone coming in or like anything I'll wake up easily but then I'll go right back to sleep so I think that made a difference I don't know you guys can be the judge of that you guys are the ones watching that. And I will update you guys probably later today or maybe even tomorrow. So, bye. Alright guys, so after day one, I did not vlog at all. Um, but right now I'm gonna go get my cash removed and I am really excited about it. I'm gonna record it if the doctor lets us. I'm gonna ask him. I think he'll, he'll be cool with it. And afterwards, I'll probably talk to you guys more. I'll tell you guys about everything after day one, every single day, how it was. And show you guys pictures of me every day. It's me right now. A little, a tiny bit of bruising, not really. Okay. 
Jesucristo, y ahí va ya, ahí va ya. Muy bien. Eso, Paulina. Chihuahua, Paulina, qué rico chinito. Qué rico, Paulina, qué rico, qué rico. Pues sí, ay, pura Paulina. Paulina, no qué rico chinito, chihuahua. Tómese la sí, para que vea. Todavía está hinchada. Miren qué bonita. Todavía está hinchada, fíjese. Entonces. Entonces. ¿Extrañas tu huesito? No. No lo extraño. No, ¿sabe qué? Una cosa, si se arrepiente, si se arrepiente después, Paulina, ahí lo tengo guardado todavía para. <risa> Para ponérselo, ¿eh? Wow. Usted, usted me dice si anda dando lata con que... ¡Ay, no! Lo extraño. No, es que como que de no sé qué, como que de no sé cuándo. Me dice, ¿eh? Fotógrafo tan chafa. <risa> Mire qué naturalita, qué bonita Jale, está. está. Hermosa, ¿eh? ¿eh? Qué hermosa. bonita. Gracias. Oiga, qué es hermosa. lástima que no quedó de cochinito. Eso sí me puede decir, que sé. <risa> All right, guys, so I'm going to be giving you guys a quick update about everything right now. First of all, it's been two days since they put on my new taping. After the last clip you saw, they put this on, this taping, and they put, like, I don't know, some other little thing on there. That I have to have on for, like, five to eight days, which I'm probably going to take it off. And on the sixth day. So I vlogged a little bit day one post surgery. So let me tell you about. Okay, so that night, after I vlogged, basically after that day, that night, I could barely breathe. Um, because I had like, I don't know, it was just covered, like my nose was like, I couldn't breathe. Uh, so the doctor gave me like these little thingies, this little thing, and it helped me breathe more. I still had the little, uh, like nose covers. I don't know what the, I don't know what they're called, bro. I still had those on, but I could still breathe a little bit better. Obviously, I, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to breathe like, like so super clear and everything. Day two, I'll insert pictures. I think that's the day where I started to get a little bit more swollen. Well, not even more swollen, just a little more bruise under my eyes. As you can see, I literally am not even bruised anymore. Like, this is like my natural discoloration and shit. I'll insert pictures. Day two was alright. I mean, it was just like day three and day four. Because, let me tell you, the whole the whole thing it doesn't really hurt i had i got headaches and stuff like that um but it wasn't like super bad mm, it was uncomfortable not being able to breathe right of course that was super uncomfortable it's just an uncomfortable thing in general and then having that on your nose it's like all this weight and pressure and yeah, but basically all I did those days was rest. I went out like a few times before I got my cast removed. I went to the movies and I went to go eat. And yeah, I think that's all I did. So I did go out a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, all I did was rest. Sleeping on like two or three pillows, like with my head elevated and everything. Taking all my medicines and yeah, right now I only have to take one. I was taking four different pills. No, three different pills. I was taking three different pills. Um, two of them three times a day and then the others twice a day. But now I only have to take one pill three times a day. Yeah. Honestly, I literally ate whatever I wanted. I've been eating whatever I want. 
I've seen a lot of things that say, oh, eat this, eat this, but I've been eating, like, what I want, except for, like, no, I didn't want to, I did read something about, like, not too much spicy food or hot foods and, like, stuff like that, so obviously not that, but, like, I've been eating, like, pizza, I've been having, like, eggs for breakfast, like, every day, just because I want to, uh, yeah, it's, it's just been like that like it's been chill but it's been hard because like just imagine how you'll feel if you have something like this this is like my new thing but my cast if you have something like that on your face and like having trouble breathing you're feeling super tired sick um uncomfortable and all that that's how i felt all those days i still feel a little bit like that but i get I feel a lot more energized. That is my update for today. I will talk to you guys probably on Saturday when I leave back home. I'm gonna vlog a little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys more about why I got my surgery, I guess. And a few questions that I've been getting. So, yeah. I am on my flight and I'll talk to you guys probably when I get home. What's up, you guys? Here I am, back again, looking like a crackhead, like I have this whole video. Today is Monday the 15th. Yeah, it's the 15th. My surgery was on the 3rd, so it's been almost two weeks. And I am ready. I'm going to be taking this off today. Right now, actually, in front of you guys. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I already saw my nose, but I'm going to see it. It's probably going to be li less swollen than last time I saw it. And, I mean, everyone's going to be able to see it now. No one has seen it in person, except, like, my grandma and the doctor, so. But yeah, I'm going to do that. After I take it off, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit more about everything. I'm going to be telling you guys the price, my surgeon... Um, and then I'm gonna be explaining why I got it, I guess. Should I do it like, I'm gonna just do it like looking at me. Guys, I haven't seen my nose. This is gonna be the big reveal. It's like sticky stuff all over it. Peeling skin. Let me see this. From the front, it's still super, super swollen, obviously. Inside, nasty. My nose is like, it has stuff on it, like glue and like stuff. Whoa. This is like swelling, you know? So like it's swollen in certain parts and certain parts aren't swollen. I'm gonna clean up my nose and then afterwards I'm gonna talk to you guys. Hey guys, so I have cleaned myself up. I took a shower and I exfoliated my nose and now this is me. Let me show you my nose up close. So A little close-up of my nose. Looking at the different angles. So, I just want to say, first of all, that I love my new nose. There's people, I bet, I already know someone's going to comment, her nose was, her nose looks ugly or like it's ugly in the front or something like that. Let me tell you, this is all swollen. Like, my nose is still super swollen. I just got my surgery less than, tw less than uh, two weeks ago. So, obviously, it's going to be swollen. If you didn't know, the time for a rhinoplasty to completely heal is around one year. That's, like, when it's, like, the swelling has completely ha gone down, basically, around one year. So, right now, what do you think it's going to be? It's going to be swollen. 
Let me tell you first of all. Now, I'm going to tell you guys how much my nose job was. My nose job was about $1,900. That is like a, a rough estimate. Maybe like 2000 at the most. So my nose job was super cheap. In Mexico, you know, it's different there. It's cheaper there. If you want to get one, go to Mexico. They got that A1. Good service. They have good surgeons. Uh, I, my surgeon's name was Dr. Simon Gonzalez. He was really, really nice. He was awesome. He was just great. I really loved him. Made my nose look super nice like honestly I I'm in love with my nose already and right now it is swollen like hella bad you know my nostrils aren't even right now like I know that it's because of the swelling that they're not even like I'm 99% sure that is why um yeah and now I just want to address something so somebody commented on <clears throat> my community post about that I got a nose job that I'll be doing a vlog and everything they said you're always telling people they're beautiful the way they are and then you go and do this like something like that so first of all you are beautiful the way you are like I was beautiful how I was first of all second of all just because you're beautiful the way you are doesn't mean that there's not room for improvement that you can't do something for yourself if it makes you happy. This made me happy, so I did it. Um, I'm not saying go get a nose job, go get this done, go get this done. You can love yourself and everything. Like, I did love myself, and I I mean, I was fine with my nose. Like, I had accepted it, but I, I just didn't think it was cute. Like, I didn't like it for myself. Some people say that they liked my nose or, like, I don't know, whatever, that I didn't need a nose job. But I liked it. I, I mean, I didn't, like... I didn't think it was cute on me. I didn't want that to be my nose. Literally for years now, I have been wanting a nose job. And I am almost 17 years old. I have been wanting one since I was like 13 years old. So it's been a few years. But I haven't, like, ever since I was like 11 years old, that's when I stopped liking my nose. I would get, like, comments about how my nose was big. First of all, like, my nose wasn't even big. It just had a bump and stuff. I would get comments about that, like, from people, like, at school and stuff. You know, rude people tell me rude things, and that just put me down. And then my nose, as it developed more, I stopped, started hating it even more. I just didn't, didn't like it. And I do love myself, and I did love myself before my surgery. You could love yourself and not love something so small like your nose, like something as little as that. You don't have to love it. As long as you accept it, that's fine, right? So, I, I mean, I accepted it. I was like, whatever, you know, this is my nose. But I wanted to change it because, I don't know. I feel like I am sound like I'm contradicting myself, but it's like, like, yeah, I accepted it, but I didn't think it was, like, its full potential. Like, I could be a lot prettier. I felt like if I got my nose done, I could love myself even more. I mean, I honestly love myself the same. It's just now I have something that I like more about myself, you know? And I love my nose now, like... It makes me feel really confident. More than before. My nose, it was always something that... It was always an insecurity. And there's nothing wrong with having insecurities. Everybody has insecurities. And I just didn't want it. I paid for this by myself with my money. I... I just wanted to do it. I did it and... Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I have to explain myself, but I know there's a lot of, like, people out there who have rude things to say. But honestly, if it's not your, like, it's not your nose. So, like, you don't have an opinion, you know? That's just what I gotta say. Just saying. But, yeah, thank you guys for the support you guys gave me. You guys, like, have told me so many, like, sweet things. You guys told me so many sweet things and the comments of that community post as well and i really really appreciate that i love you guys and yeah i think that's all i had to say keisha so i hope you guys like this video if you guys have any more questions you guys can comment them below i will be answering them i got you guys and yeah thank you for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video
Peace out.